Now you wanna get started in crypto and you need a crypto exchange that's reputable, secure, and easy to use. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to our partner KuCoin, tell you all about them, show you how to sign up, how to deposit, how to navigate around the platform, and how to trade. Let's get going. I've been around the space since 2016, so trust me when I say that you need to know at least a little bit of background of the exchange that you are going to use because you will put your own money on the exchange. So let me give you a little bit of history of KuCoin. Now, they are a leading crypto exchange with over 40 million users across 200 countries. They offer spot trading, futures, margin lending, even DeFi services. We're gonna talk about all that a bit later. And they do this all with great security and credibility. If you've been around for some time, you might know KuCoin as this DGen exchange, but not only they upgraded their security and provide proof of reserve audited by a third party, but also they are one AAA rated, meaning they are the sixth most secure exchange. They have an ISO 2701, and I know, I have no idea what that is either, but it basically means it's a certificate that they have robust protection for users' assets, their data. The certificate basically certifies global trust, and they also launched something called Trust Project with $2 billion that brings transparency and compliance, not only for KuCoin, but also for the space as a whole. They have over a thousand coins and 1,200 pass to trade on spot, 450 perpetual contracts with up to 125x leverage and even an OTC platform for pre-market trading. So I told KuCoin if they want us to review the platform, they need to give you some massive, massive sign-up bonuses. And this is exactly what they did. So if you go down to the description, there are some stuff that is only available on this link. One, you get a $100 trial fund, straight up the bat, just signing up and completing KYC. They call it a zero capital kickoff where you get $100 just by signing off and KYCing. But also you'll get 100% cashback on your first $100 deposit and of course there are a bunch of other perks, daily challenges and up to $10,000 worth of rewards. Link in the description, check it out. Let's jump into the platform. I wanna show you how it works. So when you click the link in the description, this is the place you're gonna land. You're gonna click on sign up. You have to add your email address, create an account and claim rewards, except, except if you're a human. No. You get a verification code to your email address, which you have to type in. Then you have to create a password. You have to click on verify now. This is basically going to be KYC or know your customer verification. Any compliant platform, and you will see more and more of this, will require this for you to do. You will have to submit your ID, your address, and your name, and your birth, and uh, some other details. I'm gonna show you in a second. But this is completely normal, and actually a good signal that the platform is compliant. So I will show you how to do it. You can click on Verify Now. You have to select the country. You have to select whether you wanna use your ID card, password, or driver's license. Then you can take your phone, and then you can scan the QR code, and you will be able to take pictures of your ID using your phone. Yes, you will need to do this as well. It's face verification. Verification actually takes less than two minutes. So I already got verified and I can get onto the platform. So this is what I'm gonna show you now. First off, you wanna get funds into your account so you're able to purchase crypto and trade with it. There are two options that you can use. One is deposit whether you are coming from another crypto exchange or a wallet, you can just simply click on deposit. You can select what token you want to deposit. I'm just gonna select USDC. You can select what network you wanna use. I'm just gonna use Sol. You will be able to get your address and simply send funds in here. But also the other option is buy crypto. So you can click on that and you will be able to purchase crypto with your credit card. You can add how much dollars or what other currencies you want to. They have a bunch of different currencies. I'm gonna spend US dollars and I'm gonna wanna receive USDT. The reason why I would do it, even if you are in any other currency, uh, is because it's easier for you to track. If you use $1,000, this is how much USDT, which is the dollar equivalent on chain, you're going to receive. And then you can just simply click on buy USDT. You will be redirected. You will need to add your card details and complete a transaction with your bank card, just like if you would purchase something in the shop. Also, if you don't want to purchase crypto with your bank card for whatever reason, you have the option to actually do bank transfer as well. So you just click on buy crypto on the top uh, here, and then you can click on deposit fiat, and it will give you all the bank details that you can just transfer funds to. It's a normal SEPA transfer, whether you transfer Euro, dollars, or all the other currencies, you will be able to do it here on easy bank transfer, all regular bank transfer, different fees, different times, but you can select it all here and then you will be able to do that. So whatever method you use, you deposit funds and your funds will arrive on their assets. You will be able to see them. You see I deposited a thousand dollars here. You can click on your funding account. That's where they are going to show. You fund your account and the funds that you put on will go onto your funding account. First, it won't show for security reasons, so you will need to click on this little eye icon here and it will reveal what coins you, you hold, whether it's you know all the other coins or USDT, as I've shown it here for you. And then you have a bunch of other options that I think it's worth discussing. One of them is obviously buying and selling. Now, the easiest and the fastest way to actually buy crypto, especially if you're just an investor and a hodler, is to convert. So as I said, you go into assets, you go into the funding account, you're gonna land here, and there's a little convert button next to your USDT. You will 
will be able to select what coins you want to swap. So you're gonna swap from USDT. You see that this is the amount that you actually have and you can select any token that you want. You can search for it and with a click of a button, you can execute to buy. Let's say I wanna buy Bitcoin. You always have to buy Bitcoin. There is no second best. So I'm gonna say $200. It will give me how much Bitcoin I'm going to get. It will also show me how much dollar value I'm going to get. I can click on convert Bitcoin confirm and that's it. And as you will see, it will not show up here on your funding account because you executed a conversion, it will put it on your trading account. Okay, so on the left here, you see your funding, trading, margin, futures. I'm gonna talk to you about that as well, but here it will show up under the trading account. If you want to, you can just simply click on transfer and you can transfer it from your trading account over to your funding account. You can click confirm. And when you go back to your funding account, you will see everything all at one place. This is the easiest way if you want to allocate, you can just convert your crypto to your, your USDT to whatever you want and you can deploy and your funds are safe here. The second option is actually trading. Let's say either you want to buy a little bit lower and set the price and just say, if Bitcoin gets here, let me buy there or you actually want to leverage trade. So that's the next step that I wanna show you. You can go, go and do that on the trade tab. You can click on trade and then let's first talk about the spot trading. So this is, as you see, a little bit more complicated. It seemed like it, but it's not really. The conversion that we did and the conversion that I showed you did everything for you on this platform without you even knowing it. But what you see here is the chart of the asset that you want to trade. You'll be able to see different time frames. You'll be able to see the order book. You will see who wants to buy these prices and who wants to sell at what prices. And on the right, side here, you will be able to execute the buys and sells on your spot account. So first up, you will be seeing that you don't have available balance on your trading account. So you can click on uh, the plus icon here. You can click on transfer. And again, you transfer from your funding account onto your trading account. I'm going to transfer $200 and it will show up right here immediately. That means that now I have $200 to trade with. I can either pick a limit order, which is again what I said. Let's say if Bitcoin goes to 113,000, I want to buy. So I'm going to say I want to buy 50% of my funds, which is going to be $100, and I wanna buy it at 113,000. I can just set that in. Before I buy, I will need to set a trading password. This is an added layer of security for KuCoin. Once you set your trading password, you will be able to execute the buy. So I'll say buy Bitcoin, and it will place a limit order. As you scroll down here, you will see it under here, under uh, open orders, it's here, but also you see it showing on the chart. So if Bitcoin would get to 113,000, I will buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. And then if I want layer in, I can do the other thing, let's say at 105,000, I do the same thing, I go buy, buy Bitcoin, and then it will add another buy order down here. Now it's not really visible because I'm on the 15 minute chart, but if I do this, you will be able to see it. So I'm gonna cancel these orders now. I'm gonna show you how you can actually buy market order. Again, if you want to buy immediately, you can do the conversion, but if you don't want to, you can just use the spot function. You can click on market buy. It will buy at the best price possible, and then I can give uh, it how much amount I wanna buy. Let's say I wanna buy $100 worth of Bitcoin. I click on buy, it executes and it's done. As you see here on the top right corner, successfully executed. I can go into assets, I can go into trading account and I'll be able to see all my assets that I bought. So I bought $100 worth of Bitcoin, but don't forget that I still have $100 worth of Bitcoin, $200 worth of Bitcoin on my funding account. So you have to treat these accounts as separate. You can keep your long-term bags onto your uh, on your funding account and you can keep the trading that you want to short time frame trading on your trading account. And next one up is leverage trading. So if you want to do that and want to trade futures, you have to go derivatives and then USDM futures here. Again, it's important to note that it's again a separate account. So if you want to trade futures, you will need to have funds on the futures account. Very simply, as we said uh, previously, you can just click on this little transfer icon. You can select the funding account and the futures account. I'll deposit $200. I can confirm and immediately it shows up here. So now I'm able to trade futures. Again, very similar uh, uh, interface. If I want to limit order, I can add the price and I can add the amount and I can add the leverage. And we do you have a bunch of different leverage trading tutorials on the channel, check out my playlist is going to put it up here. So you'll be able to scroll through. I'm not going to go into what leverage trading is, but please be cautious when you do this. It can be very, very lucrative, but it can also be very, very dangerous. But so you can do it here. You can set your leverage right here. You can go up to 125 X leverage, which not a lot of platform offers, which is pretty, pretty insane. Again, good and the bad and the ugly, but I actually do like that you have the option and then you can just simply execute a buy here as well. Once the order is filled, you will see your 
your positions down here, you will be able to see your unrealized profit, your realized profit, and you will be able to mark and close your trades if you want to. Now, also they have a bunch of other cool stuff that you could look at. I'm not gonna have time to run through all of them, but for example, you can look at the launch hub. They have, for example, World Liberty USD1 uh, token. You can earn that by simply completing tasks. You have, they have the jam space, they have the spotlight. So you want to look through all this. But for example, I'm gonna show you how USD1 points program work. You just click on that and it will tell you what the minimum trading volume should be for you to earn a certain amount of points. So it'll tell you daily spot trading, non stable coin pairs uh, in $500 you would earn and then you will be able to claim these points and then eventually you are able to actually redeem them for actual cash. But also one other cool stuff is the earn function, which I personally think is pretty amazing because if you put your funds onto KuCoin to hold them there or you just wanna hodl or whatever you might wanna do with it, you can earn rewards or you can earn a yield on the tokens that you hold on the exchange. So you can come here, you can click on KuCoin earn and it will give you the options down here. Now, a couple of things to pay attention to. One is the term. The term means how long you have to lock your funds, okay? So that means if I would lock my funds now for 365 days for the next year in USDT, which potentially should not lose much value, that means that I would get 7.5% on my on my on my investment which is absolutely insane like this is this is not a bank but it is offering you to earn seven and a half percent. The only downside is that you have to lock your USDT for a year, but you also have short-term games. So for example, if you lock your, your USDC for 14 days, you will be able to earn 3.5% APY. So it's not, it's not for the 14 days, but if you divide it, you will get that. But if you scroll lower, you are able to find a lot of flexible um, uh, earnings as well. So let's say that you hold Bitcoin, you can come down here. And if you have Bitcoin and you wanna lock it for let's say seven days, you can earn 3% APY on that. You can just click on subscribe and then it will get unlocked at the when, when you, uh, the period ends. You can scroll down to your favorite coins. I do recommend you do this whether you do it flexible, meaning you don't lock it. Like here you see you earn a little bit, so you earn about 0.03%, but it's flexible. Like it's literally just hold there and don't do nothing with it and it still earns your lead yield. And if you go on to your other coins, let's say you can earn on Ethereum, you earn half a percent a year. Again, flexible, you can remove it anytime. Solana, you will be able to earn 0.1% or 6% uh, all on flexible. So go and check this out. Of course, they have a KuCoin card, which is nice to look at. Again, look at your region, whether it's available or not and what KYC you have to complete to it. But if you click on it, it will tell you everything. And what is cool with these cards is that you're not only able to spend directly from your KuCoin account, but also you're earning massive rewards and cashback. There is one last cool stuff, uh, bear with me here, that I wanted to tell you, and that is the KuCoin Web3. So they integrated the Web3 into the web uh, interface as well. So with a click of a button on the top left corner, you can just click Web3 and you will be able to land on the Web3 interface. Now, I told you a million times that it's not only the decentralized exchanges that will dominate, but also the exchanges that are centralized exchanges that are able to adopt to a Web3 uh, environment. So this is exactly what we see here on KuCoin Web3. You're able to click here, you can download their app, you can connect the wallet as well, and you can trade on chain using this interface, which is quite awesome as well. They have a KuCoin Web3 wallet, so it's a separate application that you can download. Again, you can download here, or you can just download and on Google Chrome, you're able to connect your wallet. They have reward programs, point programs, and much more on here as well. There is a link in the description to all this information. If you have found this interesting, go and check it out. We have brought you the best deals available even if you're watching this two, three, four, five months after it was published, we update the links in the description so you're able to check them out, sign up and get the latest best bonuses as well. And if you have any questions, we will reply to the comment section. So let me know. Let me know what you thought. Try the platform out and uh, yeah, enjoy trading. Please, please, please pay attention to don't use extreme leverage. Don't get ragged. Watch out this video, which is teaching you how to actually trade leverage and what is proper risk management and come back for another one. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.